One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Coming to you today with another banjo lesson. This time we're going to work on the classic old song, Wild Bill Jones in the key of A. This is a song that has been done differently over the years. You might have heard different chords to it, but I based my version off of kind of the bluesy Dan Tominsky version from Allison Krauss and Union Station. I love Dan Tominsky. He's an awesome rhythm guitar player, and I think that foundational groove he sets up is basically what allows Ron Block to play that great banjo on top of it. And we're going to talk a lot about that on, in this lesson, kind of adding accents in certain spots, really getting that drive and that authority and that note separation that is so important in banjo playing. That's what we're going to talk about in this lesson. And this lesson is just, I put a whole bunch of bluesy licks in this. Um, so this is also kind of a, a lick library lesson. You could, you could jump in and look at the tab and pull out a bunch of your favorite blues licks that you could apply to a lot of other songs. I'm going to break down both solos. There's two solos. I'm going to break them down both note for note and then show you a bunch of backup I would do for this song. So again, how to play driving down the neck backup without really implying too much of the chords, kind of in a Ron Block or Jason Davis style. Um, that's what we're going to do for this lesson. And if you're watching the preview of this lesson, you can head over to my website, MikeHeadingMusic.com. You can grab the full lesson. You'll get access to watch all the videos, and you can download the tabs and the practice tracks. All right, here's Wild Bill Jones in the key of A. All right, let's start breaking down this bluesy version of Wild Bill Jones. Remember, I've got my capo on the second fret. I've got my fifth string spiked up at the seventh fret to an A. So we're playing in the key of G, but it's gonna sound like the key of A. Okay, let me play the first five measures, and then we'll start breaking it down. Here we go. Do that a few times. One more time, a little faster. Okay, so we're going to start with our pickup. We're basically going to be in our F chord. That's how I'd like you to think of it. So I've got my first finger on the first fret of the second string, pinky up on the third fret of the first string, and my third finger down on the fourth or third fret of the fourth string. I'm going to do a forward verse roll on this F chord, and then hit the fifth string, take my pinky off, and then roll backwards. And then I'm going to pinch strings three and one for measure two. So we have. So this is kind of more like a rolling pickup, I call it, where we're basically rolling into it. You know, you could do something like, something like that as well if you wanted, but I just like doing a rolling pickup for this one. So that's what we're doing there. One more time, real slow. And then that's into measure two, so pinch that. And then with your third finger that was right down on the third fret, do a 3-5 slide with a four roll, so T-I-M there. And then go up and, and do 5-3-1. Those are my strings. I'm going to bend the third fret. So we have... And then I'm hitting the open third string, which is going to start measure three. So with that bend, or sometimes they call it a choke, um, I'm basically bending it up. It's kind of like a quarter step bend. I wouldn't worry too much about the, the actual pitch you're getting to. Just give it a little of that attitude. I usually like bending up, personally. I kind of think of it as I'm, I'm hanging out in this position, basically this similar position to what we started with, where my first finger's on that first fret. You can also use that as support if you need a little help to bend that note. So you have... All these 
third fret bends are optional, so if you if you don't like those for whatever reason, you could take them out. But a big part of this bluesy style is kind of that attitude and kind of playing in between the notes, and those little bends kind of help simulate that. So let's do the first two measures one more time. The other thing I'd recommend there is on that beat one of measure two. Right there, really accent that. that. Sometimes they call that smashing the one. So you're basically really nailing that down beat. Um, the other thing I might do sometimes with this style is accent my middle finger of my right hand. exaggerating so you can hear it but basically sometimes if you accent that first finger you get this cool like syncopated rhythm going on because I think left hand wise this song isn't going to be that hard even though it's an intermediate level song this song really the right hand is probably going to be the tricky part getting that drive getting that that authority really playing with power and confidence. That's what I really encourage you to work on for this lesson. Again, the roles that you're doing aren't gonna be that that hard, you know, relative to like some melodic songs or something like that. But I'd really encourage you to really think of your timing, think of that drive, think of laying down that really solid groove. Okay, let's move on into measure three, that's open third string. Then you're gonna do the outside strings, five and one. And then use that position, bend the third fret and roll up. So I did T-I-M-T -T there. And then right here, one, three, hammer on on the second string. You're gonna have to use your index finger, your right hand. Right there, same idea, I might accent my first finger of my right hand. Okay, so let's, let's play that part. So we have. I'd also do a little accent right here. So we have. Measure five, so not too hard there. Then go back to the third fret, third string, bend that note, and then open for third string and first string, and then go up and do five, three, one, five. So that's basically the first melody. So it's so that's what we're doing there. It's the as I went out to take a little walk part, and then I walked along that wild Bill Jones is kind of the. This kind of has like a call and response. So again, we have the call. A little faster, one more time. And then measure six, back to that one, three hammer on on the second string. Use your index finger of your right hand. Again, accent this. And then right here, instead of doing eighth notes, we're gonna do a uh, quarter note. So we have. Very similar to measure four, just a slight variation. That's kind of like a Terry Bauckham style uh, lick that I got from him where he had pinched that, that first, and, first fret and open string, which I think sounds really cool. And then that measure seven's a little ending lick. Take your second finger, put it on the second fret of the second string, pinch middle and index twice so I'm sliding up really bluesy again I'm, it's a really dissonant note and then I'm sliding into the unison and then a backwards roll so not too hard so it's let's do just the right hand so again this this lick and, and and song is really all about attitude and authority. So I go. So practice that. Really accent that. Remember, this is a bluesy song. So think blues on this song. And then measure eight, open third string. And this is going to be a little lick that's going to get us into the next part. So you, you hit the open third string, go up with your, I use my index finger of my right hand here. You could also use your thumb, but you're gonna do a two, one pull off on the second string and then hit the open first string. 
And then you basically walk down the notes. Third fret, open first string. Third fret, fourth string, open third string. So you have. Do that a few times. You can't really loop it because it starts with the third string twice, but. So the ending lick is. So just loop that as many times as you need to. That that little two one. That's that's really like a to I think of that as like a Tony Rice style guitar lick. kind of lick is it can sound really cool you can do there's a lot of variations on that you can do pull-offs you could do like a single string you could do slides like we did in the ending lick so basically this little chromatic three two one third fret so that second fret on the second string is what they call the blue note so it's the the sh flatted five so you have so any of those little licks can sound really cool. Just play around with that position. I'll, I'm going to use that lick a couple times in this song. And again, I like using my index finger, my right hand. You could also do it with your thumb if you wanted to. But when I was practicing and playing it and recording it, I usually did it with my index finger just naturally, so that's how I wrote it. But try that either way. So again, you walk down. This goes into measure nine. 